Yeah, I think I'll play a record. We're gonna get started in just a couple minutes here. All right, let's get started. Hi, my name's Tom, Tom Lampros, and uh, I'm uh, uh, a member of St. George Greek Orthodox Church, and welcome to the 2020 uh, Summer Greek Odyssey. And uh, we're really having a good time doing this. I'm glad um, all three members of the audience were able to join me five. this morning. Oh, five people now. Thanks. And um, I enjoyed Steve's and Father Perry's uh, church tour and discussion about uh, kind of what we're up to here at St. George. And I want to remind you um, not only to enjoy our online content, but also uh, remember to um, uh, patronize our sponsor restaurants. Um, Gardens of Salonica, Europolis, It's Greek to Me, and The Naughty Greek. Uh, of course, I've been to all those restaurants and love them all. Um, so, uh, again, my name's Tom Lampros, and a lot of you know my wife Dawn, who's on the other side of the camera, helping me out here. And um, uh, this is my gramophone, and um, remember, all words have a Greek root, right? And a, a gramophone, or also sometimes called a, a phonograph or an antique phonograph, um, there were lots of brand names that they were known by, like Victrola, um, uh, or Sonora, Son Sonora um, you know, like tissues and Kleenex, is uh, gramophone and Victrola. My gramophone has an external horn, um, that's this, and my, my horn is tin. And um, uh, my machine works great, but it's not completely restored and beautified. Uh, frankly, if it was, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford it because they can get very expensive when they're um, in, you know, museum-type condition. 
This machine was built in Germany in 1904, and uh, there's no there's no cords, uh, there's not an iPhone inside of it or anything like that. It's all mechanical. And the um, uh, the way it works is there's a series of springs and motors uh, inside inside the box and under the motor board. Um, this is a turntable like you'd see on a traditional turntable that we grew up with playing 45s and 33s. But these old gramophones only play 78 RPM records, which are usually uh, 10 inches. Sometimes they were 12 inches, uh, but most machines couldn't make it through an entire 12 inch record in, um, uh, with one crank. So they were 10 inches and they were made from shellac, or which is sort of like a plastic. And I'm not going to get into the whole like, you know, all the physics and chemistry of how these records were made. But it is very interesting if you ever wanted to research that or direct message me and we can chat about it someday. Um, so these records, uh, the, the Greek record that I'm going to play today um, was recorded and pressed in 1936. And this came from my, uh, my grandma and grandpa's, or my Yaya and Papu's um, collection. I'm pretty sure that this particular record was in my grandpa's jukebox. Um, at his ice cream parlor on the west side of Chicago. And that's where I got kind of the, the collection of the Greek records um, that I have. So the record uh, uh, I want to play now, and we'll play this one uh, through its entirety, um, it is, uh, is composed and sung by Holovas, who was a very famous singer and composer in the late 20s, 30s, and early 40s. And the clarinet player is uh, Nikos Karakostas. Um, Karakostas is known as one of the masters of uh, the clarinet. Um, they were both from Greece, but this recording, I'm not sure, I, I wasn't able to confirm that it was recorded in Greece or if it was recorded in America. The records for, the records for a lot of these records are, um, uh, are not always complete and they're, they're difficult to find all the history. So, to get started on the gramophone, um, there's two things you want to do, especially if you like your record. You need to change the needle, and you can select a thicker needle for a louder sound, or a thinner needle for a quieter sound. I'm going to select the thinner needle, because this machine really is a pretty loud, uh, overall pretty loud machine. Um, so, I have a thinner needle, so it'll be a little bit softer. Uh, now I'm going to uh, wind up the spring, or crank the motor. I guess I don't need this because there's really nobody <laughs> here with me except Don. Now I'm going to put the record on. This song is a love song, and um, my Greek is bad. But some of the lyrics are about um, comparing uh, his love or the apple of his eye um, to uh, beautiful and delicious fruits that are in season. That's true, I think. And um, okay, here we go.
some questions I think online and Dawn's gonna ask me those questions and I'll try and answer them for you. Tom George, Master Georges from St. Paul, Minnesota would like to know where you got your gramophone. Hi George, thanks for joining. <laughs> um, I, uh, I acquired this at this cool music shop in South Minneapolis called Vintage Music Company. They're at uh, 38th and Cedar and I think they've been there for like 25 years and Scott in there knows all about gramophones and all about old recordings. Um, the shop is all 78 records and they also sell gramophones and tube, tube style um, phonographs and electronic equipment, so, uh, sell and repair. Um, you can find these on eBay. Uh, you never really know what condition they're in. Um, I mean, I'm kind of handy and I, I can make some minor repairs uh, but I don't have the, the skills or the, the tools or the experience to um, rebuild it from scratch. So I'm lucky to live in the Minneapolis St. Paul area where we have such a great, you know, great resource for uh, this sort of um, hobby. Any other questions, Don? No. Oh, how did I get into the hobby? Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, so, uh, where uh, uh, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the segment that some of these records came from um, my uh, my papu's ice cream shop um, in Chicago, and uh, we had this box of seventy-eight records in our basement growing up. Never really played any. And um, what? Two minutes. Two minutes left. Mm -hmm. Oh, we never really played them. Um, when we were cleaning out the basement, I'm sure I'd moved that box twenty times over my lifetime. Um, but about 15 years ago, it was time to get rid of the box. I opened it up for the first time, and I found all these records and the little tags that went with the records in the jukebox. And rather than tossing the box, which is what we were likely to do, I decided to bring, bring it home and find a, a 78 record player and play them first. So playing these records really kind of got my imagination going and um, finding some of the old jazz and swing records that were in that box. Since I played the saxophone, really got my imagination going more and um, uh, I just kind of got hooked since then and my record collection I try to focus on like the earliest saxophone recordings and the most recent recording that I acquired is a 1904 um, saxophone uh, solo um, it's it's a old Swanee River uh, it used to be called old folks at home anyway that's kind of how I got into the hobby George wants to know if it can play other sizes than 78s. This machine cannot. I have a, a, a very a modern turntable that will play 78s, 45s, and uh, 33s. Remember, 45s are the real small ones, small records with the big hole, and uh, 33s are the large records. Those were made out of vinyl, and um, that's kind of what most of us grew up with because all records were 45 or 33 since 1963 or so, the early 60s, everything switched over. Any other questions from the audience? No, but there is a comment from Andrew. He says, I love you, Tom. Oh, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, let's not forget, uh, I don't remember if I opened the segment with, uh, with this, but remember, all, uh, all words have a Greek root, right? And the word gramophone, um, Grama is like grammar or letters or writing, and phone, uh, phony is voice. So your gramophone is like writing the voice or inscribing the voice. They want you and to play. Um, thank you, uh, thanks for joining, and I want to just play uh, one more song on the way out, and we'll close our seconds uh, with this. I need to... Um, Change the needle because I like these records and I want them to last. And if any of you guys are interested in learning more about this or if you have any old 78 records at home that you want to hear played, direct message me and um, bring them over sometime. And uh, 
if we're not in quarantine anymore, we'll we'll have you in and make an evening of it. If we're still in quarantine, maybe we'll just go out on the front lawn and I'll bring this old machine out and we'll play and have a good time. Uh, and again, um, remember, we're doing all this for St. George Greek Orthodox Church and Focus Minnesota. And please uh, patronize the participating restaurants and enjoy your 2020 Greek Odyssey. Okay, sing us out, Mrs. Shinazi.